Hey, it's Ben Wise, this is Or Fitness, and this is The Name Game. Workout number 20 is Pool and Pray. For time, we got a couplet of row calories and squat snatches. So the row calories are ascending and the squat snatches are descending in reps. However, the weight climbs. So the row calories for men is gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then for females, it'll go 7, 16, 25, 34, 43. Um, females don't get too confused. It's actually quite simple. It'll go like the, the second part number goes seven, six, five, four, three. It's pretty simple. And then squat snatches, 10, eight, six, four, two. And then for males, it's going to go 95, 135, 185, 225, 245. And then for females, it's going to go 65, 95, 125, 155, 175. So there is actually three time caps in this workout, which, um, I just like writing it this way. Like sometimes the um, CrossFit HQ will put this out in a different way where it's like these different partitions and it gets confusing. Um, I really just capped it different workouts. So you have to finish your the third element, the third round of this workout by nine minutes, by 12 minutes, and then you have to finish the entire workout by 15 minutes, or you stop at each one of those. So for example, um, females, you have to go through your round of 25 calories and your round of six squat snatches at 125, by the nine minute mark. You have to get through your 34 calorie row and your 155 bar by 12 minutes and then you have to finish the workout by 15 minutes. Males, you have to go through your 30 calories, your six squat snatches at 185 by nine minutes. You have to go through 40 calories and then four uh, squat snatches at 225 by 12 minutes and then you have to finish the workout by 15 minutes. Know that if you are someone who is close to getting time capped, that you're probably not gonna make it through the next round. So for example, if you're barely making it through um, your six squat snatches and it's turning over to like 8.50 and then you just made it before nine, um, you're definitely not gonna make it in the 12 minute time cap. Like you need to buy yourself some time because um, this workout does not build linear, linearly. Like it's going to, there's exponentially more row in each, not exponentially, but there's much more row in each subsequent round, whereas that's not the case. Um, for the time caps, like the time caps are three minutes, three minutes, three minutes. So in other words, you have to buy yourself a little bit of time. You can work ahead, so make sure you bank a little bit of time for yourself. Movement standards, row cows, you have to stay in the seat until the screen shows that amount of cows, and then you can get off, um, and then you have to reset that row each round. And the squat snatch, it must be a single motion squat snatch. It can't be a power snatch, stand up into an overhead squat. Like you can catch it in power and ride it out into an overhead squat, um, but that's a single motion. So, and then in the squat itself of the squat snatch, in that overhead squat receiving position, hip crease has to be below the knee and your feet are the only thing that can touch the floor. So if you catch it wonky and your knee goes in and touches the floor, that's a no rep. Um, yeah, equipment setup. I would put the bar next to the rower, but unlike squatty potty, the workout that we did recently, um, where those two were parallel, where you could get off, turn 90 degrees, and go into your reps of uh, squat, squat clean and jerk, this one, I would recommend putting it perpendicular. So this is my rower. I'm going to put my bar this way, a few steps over. That way, when I catch, if I catch, and I have to walk it out forward or potentially backwards, but typically like people catch and have to walk it out forward, um, that way the rower isn't in the way where either smashing the rower and putting the bar on it, or you're just getting a no rep because you have to dump it early um, or putting yourself in danger. So really setting it up this time because you weren't gonna feel re fail reps in the other workout, but you could fail reps in this one. It's important that you get, you know, if you get a good pool where you can actually get under it to be able to get a good rep in. Um, so set them up perpendicular to one another like that. Um, and then workout thoughts. I would write this workout on a whiteboard. First of all, there's a lot of moving pieces in it and there's a lot of different numbers, regardless if you're male or female, there's a bunch of different stuff going on here. Um, and I would just write it down that way. It's easier. Um, and then especially if you don't have someone to judge you, I mean, if you have someone to judge you, if you mess up something, it's easy for them to be like, Hey, you missed, um, or you miscounted, or this is actually the weight that's supposed to be on the bar. Um, Another thing you have to realize is that you need to change the weights of your bar. You cannot have someone else change the weights just because a lot of people um, who are doing this don't have access to people to change the weights for them in a training setting. Um, in an open setting, they would, but not necessarily here. So you're going to change your own weights in this workout. I forgot to mention that. And then um, my recommendation would be starting out this workout with singles. So even at the, the 95, uh, 65 bar, 
still do singles on this cross hatches just because it makes it easy and uniform um, and it doesn't potentially create a bad habit in your motor pattern that will kind of stick with you as you get progressively more tired and you get closer to your max. So almost everybody in this workout is going to be probably in the 90 plus percent, maybe even a hundred plus percent, hopefully, um, of your max in this workout and you're hitting multiple reps at that weight. So um, that's kind of the idea here is that you're, you're keeping the same consistent single technique the entire time on the squat snatches and row paces. Um, stays relatively similar, but it's to get extended out as the, as the row cows get longer in the future rounds. And lastly, I would say that you want to account in terms of your pacing for at least a miss or two at your um, like penultimate and ultimate barbell. So like second to last and last barbell, like account for like you missing potentially one or two reps in that. Um, just because like you're not going to hit every single rep when you are breathing hard under fatigue. So realize that that's going to happen and account for it in your pacing where you can buy yourself a little bit of time. Don't take your last attempt on a rep um, at eight minutes and 45 seconds with a nine minute cap and expect to hit it every single time if it's at 85 or 90%. So that would be my advice here. Um, full warmups are in the comments below. Again, there is an athlete demo for this workout. It's in the end screen and also in the comments below. Um, I had one of my athletes do that and you can check it out and I would definitely watch that demo. And then um, lastly, for people who are not signed up for the protocol yet, you can get a seven day free trial by going to zorfitness.com slash pro. Best of luck on pool and prey.